Many times when clients approach us about adding e-commerce to their website, we'll often suggest FoxyCard. FoxyCard is not a very well-known uh, e-commerce platform in comparison to systems like you know, Shopify or 3D Card, some of the bigger ones out there. So um, what we decided to do is kind of give a quick overview of how FoxyCart works, why we prefer to use it in a lot of cases, but not always, but why it's a good tool in, in many uh, cases uh, or situations where clients need to easily add e-commerce to their site. They don't need anything that's really big and powerful, uh, like a kind of out of the box, like a Shopify that has you know a lot of high end you know functionality on the back end. They just need to be able to add a quick you know add to cart button to their site and you know allow people to securely check out and you know keep everything customized both through the um, purchase throughout the whole purchase process whether they're on their site in the cart uh, on checkout and a receipt they don't want the client to ever feel like they really ever left the site they want to keep things you know uh, consistent throughout and that's really where foxy cart shines um, what, so what I'd like to do is just kind of give you a quick overview from a client perspective you know someone that's going to actually use foxy cart um, you know when they're selling their products and trying to quickly explain what it is and what it's not to begin with what I'm looking at here is just the foxy card admin uh, if you've ever used you know again platforms um, you know out there the like the Shopify some of the bigger ones uh, you'll notice that you know it, this one looks a little more stripped down it's not you know um, you know it's not necessarily a sexy looking uh, per se but you know it's really geared more toward developers but obviously our clients do log in and do a lot of things um, but FoxyCart really uh, from a back-end perspective is really great for developers um, and again I'll get into the client side here in a second so to begin with um, what are we looking at here this is just an old uh, uh, you know FoxyCart store that I'd set up years ago and um, I thought I'd just use this to kind of give you an example of how things work so let's look at okay you know you have a site and you just want to drop in you know the add to cart button and have that custom checkout experience throughout so this is where uh, we begin and, you know and typically what we'll do is we'll set up a client account for, for uh, a foxy card account for our client it takes literally under about three or four minutes to set up it's super easy and once we have that set up what we'll uh, do then is drop the code for foxy card into your site and it's really basic what we do is uh, we just click on sample code and we'll come over here and uh, foxy card is going to provide us with some code and this is a tool that as a web developer I use to uh, make edits to your site so let's pretend in this example the client just has a really basic uh, just HTML there's you know uh, in this example, we're not going to use an actual uh, client site. We're just going to use a stripped down HTML page as, ba as basic as we can make it. So I'll just say Foxy Cart, call the title. And I'm going to drop in the code that Foxy Cart asked me to drop in. And uh, here's the article that we were writing about uh, e commerce. Um, so let me come over here and grab uh, just a link example of just adding the simple product to cart and I'm just gonna copy this right here okay it was simple as that I dropped in basically two lines of code that foxy cart uh, provides me with so uh, not really you know much I had to uh, do at that point so now what we'll do is we'll come over to that page that I just created and this is on a development environment that we have and there it is it's you know this is a stripped down as example as we can show you um, so when someone clicks on it they're gonna see the cart It'll slide in here nice, and again, you can customize this, you know, do all kinds of cool things, change it out, colors, add your logo, uh, and the rest of your site will reside here. This They won't see this big white area. Uh, you can have, Your site will still show. When someone clicks proceed to checkout, they're going to go to a checkout page, and again, this is a stripped down version. Uh, we didn't do any customization on this, but this is just to show you, again, how simple and quick it is to set up an e-commerce, um, you know, a foxy cart on your site. So boom, someone can now begin to add products to cart, and they can check out and buy uh, your product. Now, um, a lot of times, you know, clients, they want the ability to go in and edit products, add products, keep inventory, a lot of functionality like that. Um, that's where we'll typically drop FoxyCard into a content management system. Uh, this is a site we built, gosh, maybe back in 2008, 2009, a long time ago. And this is using ModX. Uh, it's an open source content management system. And so the client can log into ModX. They can add products whenever they want. And then, you know, here I am as a customer on the front end looking to purchase, you know, 
uh, something from their site. So you see here, again, maybe this is not the best example because we did this one years ago since then Foxy Card has become so much more customizable uh, and powerful in what it can do. But as you can see here, you know, we've got the logo in here. Um, if I click on checkout, we've got the checkout page here. And again, this looks just like the rest of the site, so they're kind of kept in a similar environment. Uh, there's not like this huge jump, like, oh my gosh, you know, I went to this totally looking different site. This is, you know, because a lot of the e-commerce platforms, you can't really customize a checkout page on some of them. Uh, you know, a good example is PayPal. I mean, you go to the PayPal ch uh, checkout page and you're like, wow, I just went to you know, a completely off-site e-commerce. Obviously, PayPal, everybody knows PayPal, so it's not that big of a shock. But for some uh, clients, they want to keep that uh, continuous flow. They don't want people to feel like they've actually left the site. Um, so let's come back here, you know, and again, that's an example uh, using ModX. Um, you know, there are other content management systems, obviously, like WordPress that are extremely popular, and there's plugins, uh, you know, like Foxy Pre uh, Foxy Press is actually uh, integrates seamlessly into uh, WordPress, and uh, if you're a WordPress developer, you might want to check that out. And so getting back to FoxyCart, um, again, if you're using this store for your, uh, you know, to sell products on your site, 99% um, of the time you're probably going to hang out over here in the reports section. You're probably not going to get into this. This is where, as a developer, we get into this area and customize things for you, you know, uh, add more advanced features or customize it to whatever you need. And typically the client will come over here, they'll have the report, and as you can see, there's nothing in here. This is something we, I think we built back in 2007. So. Um, so, you know, uh, let's just say hypothetically you sold 50 widgets today. What you would be able to do is you would be able to output a report. You can select these filters and drop a CSV file. A CSV file is just a standard file that you can open, you know, in a spreadsheet program like Excel. Or you can import this information that you dump into another platform that may, you know, you can upload your CSV file and it can, you know, help, you know, sort information and all that. Uh, or you can even connect this to uh, third-party APIs that allow you to, um, you know, again, contain that information and, you know, do a lot of cool things with it. So that uh, really is kind of the summary of, you know, FoxyCart from a user perspective. Again, I know we kind of get into a little advanced detail with, uh, you know, showing examples of actually dropping the code in, which you'll probably never do. Um, but at least it gives you qu uh, just kind of a quick high-level overview. Again, really all you're doing is just dropping in some FoxyCart code you're setting up the link on the page so people can add product to cart and check out um, and obviously as we showed here in this example you can customize it, the cart the checkout and keep that you know experience while people are shopping um, you know you can keep that that experience seamless from from start to finish so they don't feel a big jump when they're going to the checkout and we have you know tons of other t uh, examples and we encourage you to check out our website at smashstack dot uh, com and you can go over to our work section you'll come over here to e-commerce and there's a lot of other examples of sites that we built uh, using a lot of different e-commerce platforms whether it be Shopify or Foxycart uh, but there's so many different ways you can approach this so anyway um, hope that kind of helps give you a high-level overview of Foxycart